How's it going everybody? Um, we're working on the doorbell today that uh, my beautiful bride Heather was so eager to, uh, we'll say, destroy. I do have to say, I was corrected yesterday, instead of it being um, that she messed up, if you will, she was challenged with a uh, doorbell, I guess, and I had to give her, I have to give her a little bit of credit, all right? Um, the mess up wasn't completely on her. Now, if she had followed the actual directions, she would have seen a little bit better steps, but you know how it is. Sometimes you don't want to follow the actual prescribed recommended steps. So the first thing that happened, she took off the old doorbell and I, I don't know how she... I hashtagged Wreck-It Ralph yesterday and I think that might be the most applicable. But what happened is one of the wires, if you noticed, one of the wires is not here. There's only one wire sticking out. There should be two. She claims that as she took it off and was going to go put it onto the nest, that it actually uh, broke off and is now in the cluster of wires somewhere. And we're going to have to dig out and figure out which one it was. So first and foremost, um, we did have this nest camera, the doorbell cam, installed at the old house that we just moved out of. Um, so it's a reinstall, but in order to do the reinstall, um, Nest is really great. One of the reasons I love Nest is that it has a, on, on the app, it has tutorials of how to set things up. So I'm not gonna claim to know how to do all of this very well. Um, I just have it to be handy enough to accomplish some things um, and hopefully correct some things. Um, but I'm gonna follow along on the app. I'm gonna kind of talk through it as I do it. Um, one of the very first things that I like to look at, um, and obviously the app recommends, but if I were to just mount the camera straight out, um, it's kind of going to get a view of the road and also of the left side of the porch since it's on, or excuse me, the right side of the porch. So Nest comes with the mounting hardware and it comes with a wedge. And I really like the wedge so that when we put it on there, um, it'll actually be angled ever so slightly to the right side so that we can hit a little bit better because I'll, I'll have a video up here in a few days of of the home to show you the layout a little bit as I continue making a few upgrades um, but right now our, our sidewalk goes off to that right side so it's really going to help gather as somebody walks up to the sidewalk if there's any type of motion attached um, so we attach the wedge um, I'm literally just going to follow step by step and try my best to do what Nest recommends. Um, as men, we really tend to not do that. Uh, we don't really follow recommendations. Uh, we don't really follow instructions. And we definitely don't listen to our wives, am I right? So first thing we're going to do is make sure that Obviously it fits. Obviously the old door or doorbell got removed. Um, so we're literally just gonna run with it. Um, get it on here and see if we can line up some of the old holes. Um, so we don't have too many new holes in the house. And Unfortunately, while I was gone, all my tools kind of got mixed up, so if you hear my bit acting terrible, it's because it is, and I have yet to find all my other screw bits. Um, so, obviously, what it says on the app is to mark the screw placement, um, so that way you know where to go, since we already had... I'm, I'm using the same holes that the builder used as it came uh, with the old doorbell. So I'm trying not to create anything new like I mentioned. One great thing about Nest, they're, they're pretty, uh, pretty good about how they um, do their wiring. So I'm going to turn this down a little bit so I don't ground this off too much. Um, the way their wiring works, you don't really have to worry about crossing terminals. Um, 
they focus on pretty much making this quite simple for anybody to do. Um, so the next step is to actually attach the wires, but since we only have one wire, I am going to do my best to fish out that other wire and figure out which one we've got. Uh, so I've just got a pair of needle nose. I'm going to try to strip this a little bit so I can see more of what I'm working with. Um, this is actually about all the wire that we're going to get out of the door, so we're not going to be able to even really get much more than what you see here. So I'm just going to try to strip back some of this. And I'm not an electrician by trade. So if there's any electricians out there watching, judging my technique, um, I couldn't find my wire strippers out either, so I'm doing what I can, if you will. Um, so if you notice, there are a bundle of wires here. I'm just going to try to discern which one was broken off. Um, they all look pretty tore up, but... The way they have these two blue and blue white looks pretty obvious that that's the one that was used before. Now one way we'll find out is when it doesn't, or hopefully it will, but when it doesn't work. Um, if it ends up not working, then um, you're going to probably get a video of my wife laughing at me because I wasn't able to get it to work and that's when the Nest Pro will be out here to install it for us. So the easiest way I found to ever do wiring, kind of make a little hook out of the exposed metal piece. And we don't have much room to work with here. I'm actually going to attach this long one first, make it easy on us. Um, I like to put the, when I make the hook, the wire to the left of the screw so that as you tighten it, it actually pulls the wire into it. Just something I've noticed that helps a little bit if you do it the other way um, it actually kind of pushes it away from it uh, and when I say by away from it, it kind of pushes it out of the actual screw where it's connecting so pretty important to make sure that connection stays good um, this other one's going to be a bit of a pain because again we only have about an inch work with so excuse me if my head gets in the way don't mind the, uh, the shine and the sheen if I'm blinding anybody I apologize sometimes being left-handed would be more beneficial and I think now might be one of those times Gives a little bit better room to work. But it is all gravy. I am not left handed, so we're going to do our best to attach as best as we can. All right. Looks like we got it. Um, one part that I didn't really discuss, and before you do anything with electricity, obviously you want to turn the power off. Um, so, the power needs to be off, obviously, before you start playing around with any of this, because um, electricity is not fun. I don't like electricity. I've been shocked many times over the years. Uh, my dad owned a renovations company. Uh, he's actually our engineer, designer, smart person that usually does a lot of our installs. Um, so he's much better all of this than I am. Come on. Obviously the wire came off. So I'm going to reattach that. This, I think that's going to be a pretty bad problem for us. Um, so I'm just going to try to even get the coated part on there a nice big huge hook that will allow it to stay put Man. 
It's also been a while since I've messed with any of this. They don't really have nest cameras in Afghanistan. So, again, I apologize for taking a second. Alright. There we go. So, next step was to connect it into. I'm doing it backwards. You put the top in first. Try to snap the bottom in place. And a wire came out again. So let's do this. I think all our wires are being part of the problem. I'm going to tuck those, the rest of them, back in. Kind of creating a little bit of a headache. But at the end of the day, if I can fix this and still make fun of my wife, it's a win. Might just take us 20 minutes to do something. Wow, all right. So I guess she's not, <laughs> she's not lying. So the other wire, just broke off and uh, man I guess she was telling the truth about these wires so with that being said I'm gonna go try to find a little bit of different wiring let me see if I can get this get my needle nose back out See if I can get a little bit different wiring, figure out a different solution for this, maybe. But if I give up now, she's gonna have a I told you so moment. She just had an I told you so mo moment. I promise, you're gonna see it. So no, she was already laughing. Or she's already laughing right now. That really ruins my fun of making fun of her. Because now, I guess I'm Mr. Wreck-It Ralph. Not Fix-It Felix. We're Disney nerds in this house, so. Disney, that might even not be Disney, so. <laughs> I apologize, Disney, if I'm talking poor of you. Man, alive. All right. So we're going to go figure out something else. I'm going to come back to you and, uh. I guess show you the finished product if I get that far. All right, so I'm back at it. Um, I did get it installed. Um, the wiring is just, I guess, apparently very frail. Whatever wiring they used. Beezer Homes, you're on blast right now because that was way bigger pain in the neck than it should have been. Um, the next step after you get it, once you get the two wires attached, all it was it was a quick clip in. I just went ahead and clipped it because I didn't want any more wires breaking. Um, so the big indicator, if it's hooked up, wired properly, the ring, you can't really see it, um, but the, there's a blue light around the button. Um, that's actually lit up blue right now. So in the app, you go through, yes, it's blue, you're putting it on the front door, and it's going to connect it to... Your home assist, you do have to have a home assist attached with this that kind of puts everything onto the Wi-Fi. Um, so let's see. I guess it's gonna take a second for it to do that. I'm getting yelled at again for my live video uh, when I talked about her being challenged. Um, when she sees this video, I won't be able to talk very much anymore after she beats me up and says I told you so. So it's going through the process, if you can see. Um, it's assisting the product, locating the front door, connecting everything to the Wi-Fi, um, sets it all up, and as soon as that's done, 
we will try to find out if it works or not. It's still lit up. A little tidbit about all the Nest product. We're, we did all sorts of Nest stuff just to see if it's as easy as they actually claim it is to install. Um, we actually really like it. I've got a couple exterior cameras, other exterior cameras I'll be putting up in the next week or so and put some footage of that up for you so you can see it. Um, for some reason it does not want to connect to the camera itself. <laughs> the next, the install expert is actually the one that just texted me. You heard the tone. Um, he's trying to check on whether or not I was able to accomplish this one. Uh, I have a little back, a little bit of backup just in case I couldn't get it done. Um, I was actually gonna have him come over, install, it, and I just tell Heather that I actually got it accomplished. But we'll see how. <laughs> if this ends up connecting. But like I was saying about the Nest products, they're pretty easy to install. Um, if you're any bit of DIY, um, like I am, it's easy to throw a couple of the products up, um, buy the whole, we have like the whole home package. Um, it's not monitored, it's all something we can look at from our phones, which is what I like. I like to be able to see what's actually happening and get alerts when it's actually happening. Um, there, there's another video I talked about how an alarm system, you know, give or take, can do good for you. I do like blended, where you have a standard alarm system like Ackerman or ADT, as well as Nest or um, Ring products. I like to blend it like that. Um, that's what I recommend to a lot of my clients, so you have both interactions. And it is not wanting to connect for some reason. Um, Something keeps going wrong. So, I'm going to wrap up this video. This has been long enough. It's up and installed. It's lit up. And I'll throw another short video up whenever I figure out why it's not working. And we'll do a little bit of troubleshooting.